let's compute standard deviation and coefficient of variation from the available information we have x is equal to 47 51 49 53 43 45 from this we have to calculate standard deviation so how do we calculate standard deviation what is the formula for standard deviation let me just give the formula the formula for standard deviation that is represented by sigma is equal to square root of summation x minus x bar the whole square divided by n it means we have to find out what is this x bar then find the deviation of x here this is x x minus x bar then the whole square divided by n take the square root that is going to be the standard deviation and the next one is coefficient of variation that is cv how we are going to find the coefficient of variation it is very simple standard deviation divided by mean represented by x bar multiplied by 100 so that is going to be the coefficient of variation so let's get started so how do we go about if we want to find this x bar that is x minus x bar we should find out x bar what is x bar what is the approach for x bar let me put it here x bar is nothing but summation of x i divided by n it means we have to total this divided by n so let's do that job now let's uh, total we'll keep it here let's total this so the total works out to 288 and this total is nothing but summation of xi okay so summation xi is 288 we know n 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if we can divide this by 6 we get x bar so let me put it here x bar is summation xi by n which is 288 divided by 6 so let me mention that here 288 divided by 6 and it is 48 so this is my x bar so let me mention my x bar is 48 so comes here the next step that is I have to find what is x minus x bar okay I have to find out what is x minus x bar so let me keep that here that is 47 minus what is my x bar it is 48 my x bar is 48 so I get minus 1 51 minus 48 I get 3 right then 49 minus 48 I get 1 53 48 5 43 48 minus 5 45 48 I get minus 3 okay the next step is I have to take this square because if you look at the formula it is x minus x bar the whole square and then the summation okay so the next column required is x minus x bar the whole square that is I have to square all these items so let me give it as a formula that is x minus x bar square so I'm giving square it means in the first case it is same one the second case it's going to be 3 square and that's 9 third case it is 1 fourth case it is 25 in fifth case the change happens minus 5 square so I get again 25 and in the last one minus 3 square I get 9 okay now what is more important is I have to make the total of this because the formula says summation of x minus x bar whole square so let me highlight that with a different color it is what I need is summation of x minus x bar square okay and let me give the formula that is I have to total them so let me make use of the summation auto sum and it says it is 70 so here I have the summation of x minus x bar square is 70 so I think now I can go and apply that in the formula 
because here I have standard deviation is summation of x minus x bar whole square which is 70 divided by n and we know n is 6 okay so standard deviation got to be simple here so let me put that standard deviation is equal to what is summation of uh, x minus x bar square that is 70 before that let me give the square root so it is standard deviation is equal to summation of x minus x bar square which is 70 okay uh, let me have that within the square root divided by n which is 6 so I'll have like this so standard deviation is square root of uh, 70 divided by 6 so let me calculate that it's square root it's square root of uh, 70 divided by 6 let's see what we get it is 3 point how much it is 3.42 so this is the standard deviation now we can say our standard deviation is 3.42 so the first part of the question is answered. Then comes the second one, the coefficient of variation. The second part of the question. So how do you find the coefficient of variation? The standard deviation divided by x bar. So what is your standard deviation? 3.42. What is our x bar? We have x bar as 48, right? So multiplied by 100. 3.42 divided by 48 into 100 let's see how much we get 3.42 divided by 48 and if I multiply this with 100 this becomes percentage and it works out to 7.13 so this is our coefficient of variation our coefficient of variation is 7. 1 3 percentage